Wild 94.1, wild941.com. Joey Franchise here hanging out. Got the fam out here. Sleepy Hollow. What up, Sleepy? Yeah, what's the vibes? Yeah, we got Babs here too hanging out. You got you got the fam here as well. Yeah, that's a fact, Introduce huh? yourself. What's up, man? It's busy. We here. Already, man. You see what is going on? This is your first time in Tampa, right? Yeah, facts. It's great. I know you in and out because I know you're going to Basel. You're going to Miami. So you yeah. just came here and made a little quick pit stop. Maybe cop some drip somewhere yeah, around here. Yeah. Trying to see all the spots. Uh, but we got to do it right the next time. So, Babs, where's your... Because I know you outside a little bit more than I am. Yes. So where where's the one spot he got to stop? Well, you know, your birthday's coming up. Yeah, that's a So fun. we got you a <laughs> stripper. What? Yeah. I, I, I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. No. <laughs> no. I was like, I was like Yo, what is going on? Oh, no. Nah. I don't do that. I don't do that. No, I can really get you one, but happy early birthday. Yeah, thank you. So definitely next time, we got to take him to Truth Lounge. Truth. Um, we probably the pen, penthouse. Go to penthouse. penthouse. Got to go to penthouse. Mm. They got some good steaks. What type of strip clubs do you like? You like more of the Sue's Rendezvous or? The one that got the Okay, okay. <laughs> we gonna have to make that happen for you next time you come through. For sure. Uh, we got to talk about the album, man. Boy Meets World, obviously. Uh, still getting crazy traction right now. Amazing project, by the way, man. Got to congratulate you on that. Uh, so much good vibes on there. Um, tell me what it was like, you know, putting this out. Obviously, this was the first, like, big project you put out after getting out. So tell me what it was like, you know, kind of putting this together and getting the guys on that record that you, uh, that you wanted. It was, I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of hard because when I first came back, it was, I had songs that I it was already made that I wanted to put on. But I feel like my um, creativity was like slow when I first came back. So definitely was hard. But then I started like, I just stayed in the stool days, days, days. And I just finally caught that. I did that one song and it just, the algorithm was just crazy. I just started going crazy. So it was a journey. I ain't gonna lie because I, I was going through a lot during that time um, with court. Um, everyday life, so, yeah. Now, was there one record on there particular that you just enjoyed recording and you knew it was just like, you know, that, that you felt like you had the, you know, you got the groove back to where you, you know, you said you said you were a little bit out of touch mm. for a little bit and you had to get back in that groove. So what was that one record that actually set it off on that album for you? Probably Self Control. Yeah. I like that. Definitely that. Okay, Sleepy Hollow. So it's been a crazy year for me. I don't know if it's been one for you too yeah, as well. Yeah. But so where would you say you are mentally in December? Mentally, uh, I'm all right right now. I'm just getting ready for the new year. I made a lot of mistakes this year, so definitely going to change that up and try to do things right for 2024 for my career and my um, everyday life. Do you do vision boards? They help. No, nah, I don't think so. Like, the, you got to do it for 2024. Like, you yeah. get, you know, you put, like, what you want to do in yeah. that year, and you po- post it up in your house, and you look at it every day. And I guarantee you, come this time next year, you're going to be like, Babs, you were right. Nah, fact. So I'm you're going to do that. a vision board. Yeah, 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 I'm going to try that. All right, for sure. Now, you do that. And what's one thing, like, that, that's kind of changed for you in a sense that when you got out, you were just, like, you, your whole mental kind of state, like, changed, and you kind of wanted to do differently this time around? Uh, probably, um... Recognizing the position that I'm in mm-hmm. and not playing with that. So um, it's easy to get airheaded and distracted by everything that's going around. So, yeah, just staying afloat. Definitely started staying afloat more. Now, what does Sleepy Hollow want for his birthday? Wait, do you ever get slighted? Because your birthday is around Christmas. So are people ever like, this is your birthday and your Christmas? Yeah, yeah that, growing up, that's how I was. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Now, what do nah, you want this year? I don't really be wanting nothing, though, honestly. Probably just to... A n- that's what Yeah, I mean. now that's my new... That's what I want now. That's annoying. It's crazy. Yeah. It was m***ing going on last night. It was. Out in St. Pete, right down the street. You Wild behavior it. going on out here, dog. You don't, you don't understand. <laughs> Tampa's different. Nah, that's tough. Trust me, is, it, is there anything that trips you out about Florida? Like, any of y'all? Like, if y'all like come mm. down here, like, obviously, it's like a culture shock in a sense, because I'm from Connecticut, so it's like, I understand the, you know, the, the tri-state vibes is here, yeah. but, uh, yeah, when nah, I came down here, it was, it was very different. Right, it is different, but it's not, it's not like, I can't deal with it. It's like, you coming from New York, bro, it's different out there, You see a lot, of, you see a lot of shit too, out there, yeah. too. Facts. And he is Jamaican, so this you is very have true. a lot of Jamaicans. I'm Haitian. Now, I know a lot of Jamaican men, they are not 
monogapus. So I don't know are what you? That so- mean. What does that mean? Um, monogapus. Monogapus. Like they don't eat box. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. It's hard for Jamaican men. My sister's married to one. To be monogapus, meaning, are you into the poly lifestyle? Is Sleepy Hollow someone who? What needs- you mean polyamorous? Like, like having two shorties? Yeah, like I feel yeah, like. You could, you could, yeah. So you're a person who has two girlfriends. No, I don't. I'm not saying that I got that right now. But I'm saying, like, I believe in that. That's that's a thing. People why? Do that. Why is that with Jamaican men? Why do you guys can't? Nah, I don't think that's just us, though. I feel like it's men hear about that. They like that's a thing. Like, hold on, I'm, let me try. Let me see what that's about. It gets really expensive too. You'd have to buy all those Christmas. Yeah, gifts. I can't. Do all, I, that's that's an expensive <laughs> habit for me, bro. Yeah, so I can't do that. Two girlfriends is two headaches. Christmas come around, I'm out. I'm not gonna see. Yeah, you. you gotta you gotta re up. You gotta like you gotta like take downtime. And then re up like you know after all the holidays and New Year and That's shit. That's two headaches, bro. That's all I'm here. Now you seem like a little. I would be afraid to like approach you. So how do girls approach Sleepy Hollow? <laughs> do they slide in the DMs or? Because nah, it just feels like you don't want to talk. <laughs> nah, it's usually a DM. So you met a girl off of Instagram before? Yeah. You know? okay. Do you go vanish mode? Huh? You gotta go vanish mode. Though, I right? do have a vanish mode. Yeah, I do that shit a lot. Nah, that's what's up. So girls gotta slide in the DM. Like, what type of stuff do they say to catch your attention? You like a girl with substance, or? It's uh, I like what I like. It's, it's it's it's. I mean, yeah, you gotta have some substance. That's if I'm like planning on talking to you for a long time, though. Dang, New York dudes are so like standoffish. Like I would be afraid I, I'm to saying, DM I'm you. I'm talking to you for a long time. I, I think, you I think have it's substance. more of a, like an alert. If it's thing, just a, you guys just kind of we just doing but, that just yeah. to do it, and you just gotta be bad, and you can't be. I don't know. Dang. I like it. I like it. I'm the, I'm the same. Like it takes yeah. a lot for me to like settle down with somebody. Right like, before my girl. Now, like it was more. I was just like out here doing my thing. I'm chilling. I ain't trying to do the most or have a shorty that's facts. around doing the most. Yeah, because I'll be, I be like, I'll be thinking that's what I want. And it's just, yeah, you just, just like gotta feel annoying. It yeah. It's hard to get people to understand, like, our lifestyle being in the industry. Like, girls get jealous. Oh, you was on Instagram with yeah, other girls like, in the club. Yeah, I can't deal with I can't deal with that. Music videos is like, it's my life. You knew that was my life before you, for me? So. Yeah. So your guys here. <clears throat> Have they been down with you since the beginning? Shout out to Winter Circle. Facts, pretty much. That's, that's Winter Circle in the right. building. That's one of the artists on the label, JBZ. And that's the top producer on the label, Great John. Yeah. Whole gang outside. Yeah, that's a fact. I love it. So you keep your circle small. Like, is it any yes. cutoffs that you had to do? Like, <laughs> dudes, you started Yeah, with? but like, uh, not really like my people. It was just like, just workers that work for the company. They just... Just not doing right, so right. yeah, you out of here now. Getting on the like, I feel I hate that. Do you ever get disgruntled sometimes? Like when you feel like Dis- you're just disgruntled, disgruntled. Like you Upset. know, you just like damn, like why you got put me in this kind of box in a sense oh. musically. You know what I'm saying? For mm, like who exactly? Um, well, I'm saying like social media be, being like described like called the drill artist. Would you oh, yeah, prefer yeah, yeah, being definitely. a called the drill artist, or do you nah, just want to be called an artist in general? Because I feel like I see that everywhere. It's like why yeah. y'all call him a drill artist? Because I feel like when I listen yeah, to your always, music. When my name comes up, they'll bring up that. Oh, but I feel like I've been doing, like, the music I've made, not being a drill artist got way further than when I was doing the drill mm-hmm. all the time. So. Yeah, like, Joey was telling me you got a song with Dochi. Yeah. Tampa's Tampa, very Tampa young, Dochi. Oh, she from Tampa? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's She's from here. We actually that's did a crazy-ass event with her and Ebor when uh, uh, her first record came out, Persuasive. Yeah. And, yeah, she different. Yeah, she turned that shit up. She's fire, though. It's funny because we got that, like, we did that song. We didn't even speak. Really? So this day, we didn't even speak yet. I That's swear. crazy because she's very uh, out, outspoken. She's very she's, uh, open. She's energetic. And friendly. She definitely have a midget stripper for you on deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll I I definitely be um, seeing her shit. She, she seemed like a nice person. No, nah, she's great. She just did the show out here with uh, with Doja Cat. But it was dope that y'all collab because, and I love yeah. that y'all sampled, damn, Gautier. Yeah, she did it first. That was crazy. She did it first. I seen that on Twitter. Her doing it, I'm like, nah. I gotta use this. Yeah, so I that was a hard ass sample, and the, the team y'all, you produced it. Anyone yeah. who you produced yeah, yeah, it, bro, did that. bro, that was I literally blew my mind when I heard it for the first time. It's a team thing, though. Yeah. It wasn't like like he came to me with the with the idea. 
Oh like, shit! Yeah, he came to me yeah. with the idea. So what do you Cut listen it to? Up, like chopped it up and you know I, what I mean did his thing on it. Obviously, it's always a collective thing when you're all together. It's, mm-hmm. it's a team thing, like you said. Uh, like, what do y'all listen to? Like, what do, what specific sounds do y'all look for when y'all putting together stuff in the studio? It's it's never no specific sound. It's like bounce ideas back and forth. It's very yeah. eclectic. Like y'all very yeah, yeah, eclectic yeah. when y'all choose y'all samples and and, and the way y'all you, you, you put the beats together. No nah, facts. It just be like whatever. Um. He be on with the melodies he be playing. He just play a whole bunch of melodies, and I just pick one, whatever one come up. Yeah. Or he'll find us, or he'll be listening yeah, to facts. some Yeah, facts. Or I just listen to some weird like shit tip-toe. here, a sample. I just like bring that shit to the Like, Tipsoe was the craziest. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Tipso, I'm like, yo, bro, how? <laughs> I was like, It's fuck. funny, because when I <laughs> came to you with the Tipsoe, Everybody was telling me, like, yo, that's Insidious and shit. I still, to this day, never watched that movie. I just heard the song. I've never seen it either. Yeah, i never seen that. Which one was it? Insidious. Insidious? Insidious? Yeah. Insidious. I I've ne- I think I saw the... I might have seen the... Yeah, I think I saw the first one. Yeah, yeah but yo, like, let me ask you something. Like, what's, like, a guilty... Outside of rap music, like, rap, like, listening to music and stuff that you influenced by, obviously, like, but your sound. What's, like, a guilty pleasure song, like, that nobody knows? Like, like, like the fans probably won't know that you were, like, really, really tapped I, in. I, it ain't really one song, but it's, like, pop music. Like, 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 what's that song by, um... It's one by Ed Sheeran and it's one by, um, Justin Bieber, bro. It's, it's what's that shit? What's that shit? Was it like um, the big radio joint? Nah, it's, I think I think so. So he said, "My mama don't like you." Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good yeah, one. That's heat. I ain't gonna lie. That album was crazy too. Yeah. That whole purpose joint. Now, being from Jamaica, do you have any like mega Jamaican artists that you want to collab with? I just interviewed Beanie Man, by the way. Shout out mm. to him. He' about to get his green card back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out, bro. Wow. Um. I mean, the new, the, like, I don't think they from Jamaica, though. Of course, me and Skilly, I did something, so. Oh, Skilly Bang? Oh, Skilly yeah, Dope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Hell had yeah. a remix to um, something. Have you ever talked about, like. I definitely work with him again. I ain't have, gonna lie. Have you tapped in with Byron Messiah? Yeah, I was about to say him, but I don't think he's from Jamaica. That's the thing. Yeah, he's from another island. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about all these, um, the island sound, like, catching on and all this Yeah, nah, it's fire. Right? I, I, yeah. I like it, because it, it reminds me, like, I feel like a couple years ago, like, when Vibes was out and. That type of music was big, even for, like, people who wasn't Caribbean. Everybody yeah. just loved it. So I feel like that's the vibe they coming back with. Yeah. Well, we love having you here in the Tampa Bay area. Of when course. are you leaving? I think right after yeah, this. Yeah, you're going right after this. Yeah. Okay, they're okay, going, so they're you, going to Basel. You got to stop by Salem's. Salem's. Oh, that's, like, a Salem's. staple. There's one There's one down, like, when you get further down, yeah. toward, going towards Miami, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, a uh, Coney Island like, a, like okay, like see, I'm from Detroit. We call like Coney Island, like where they sell like chili dogs and like hamburgers. Oh, I, 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 yeah, right, like right. it's like one of those type of spots. Right. They got gyros, gyros there. So you got to go and stop there. Yeah, that's a staple. Not nah, bad. Or get a Cuban, get a nice Cuban sandwich too out here. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Well, you could, but 85 percent <laughs> of the time you're, you're laying on a good Cuban sandwich. Nice, yeah. Um, real quick before you go too, like I, I you know, on that, I just want to get a status update, like on uh, yeah. on Chef. I know. They, I thought it was dope that a uh, video you posted, you know, at, at your show, and you, you know, you had them on the phone, and the, and the yeah. fans out yeah, here just yeah, they going love, crazy. I front, they, they be get going crazy for bro. I know they can't wait till he touch down, but he's doing pretty good. He called um, damn near every day. He speak damn near every day. Um, we just trying to figure out this bail situation for mm-hmm. him. That's pretty much it. We just weighing it out right now. Now, are there records for him uh, for when he's ready to come out? Yeah, yeah, like, is he yeah, ready yeah, on yeah. go? Like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the he, button he, already going to get he pushed? He was rapping some shit to me the other day. He got some shit when he touched down. I can't wait, man. Now, Word. you and him, I obviously put at the forefront of the whole drill movement. Now, who would you put in your Mount Rushmore of the New York drill scene? Obviously, you're going to put you and Chef on there. Yeah, but, like, who are the Chef. other two? I would put Pop. Of course. Yeah, this, the last one be the hardest. Fabio, I'm for Fabio. Okay. I like that. No you're going to wreck it too? No Man, girls? I, yeah, don't do that to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me right now. Be the fifth now, man. <laughs> yeah. You got any girls that you uh, like mess with that's making moves out of New York right now? I don't be tapped in with them, but I, uh, a lot of them can rap. You know? Yeah. Word. Gangsta. I dig. <laughs> I dig. 
Um, <laughs> now I got real, actually, too, real quick before you go. Uh, you have Marshmallow on the album. Again, yeah. it goes on to the whole, like, eclectic sound of the of the album and you just evolving uh, as an artist. Uh, what was that collaboration like in that phone call? He just pulls that, up. Did you pull up? Was he in the studio with you? Did he nah, have a helmet on? Like, what happened? A, we had used the sample. I didn't know what the sample was from, but we used it, made the song. I found out it was Selena Gomez, and I guess Marshmallow produced it. Once I heard Selena Gomez, I'm like, it's over. I don't know why we did this song. Nobody's clearing this. <laughs> they went through. They hit me, like I think, like a week later. It was like, yo, it was cleared. Marshmallow said he want to be a part of it. He wow. ready to shoot the video. I'm just like, oh, nah. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So he linked up, and now we just locked in. He, even, he flew me to, um, to Vegas for one of his shows. That shit was crazy. That his shows is different. I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of neon, right? Huh? A lot of neon going on. A lot of neon colors and fish. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Sugar. Yeah, it was bugging. A lot of booger sugar. You said? Yeah, a lot yeah. of booger sugar. <laughs> That's a fact. It was going up. Well, nothing but blessings to you. And remember, this time next year, you're gonna tell me that I'm right. Nah, Make yeah, sure you write fact. your vision board. Also, um, your friend, your boy, need his uh, email. Got some girls that's gonna write. I bet. Okay. Right. Damn, okay, Shut Babs. Up. Hey, look, I didn't know this was all going to happen. She came prepared. <laughs> she came very prepared today. I love it. Uh, but, yo, we got to bring you back out here for a show, yep. man. I got nah, my birthday at the end of January, nah, so I'm trying to do a big in. show around here. So we got to tap in. Nah, hell yeah. Do Tampa right hell yeah. for a Appreciate nice weekend. Appreciate y'all for having me in the spot, too. Nah, already, man. Appreciate you coming through. Shout out to the whole Winter Circle team for pulling up as well, man. Um, my guy, you got uh, Boy Meets World out here. Big shout out to Sleepy Hollow, Swall 94.1, Franchising Babs. We out.